New tonight, you have seen the posters, dog missing, help me find it, but signs hanging on trees and poles only go so far. Tonight, Queen City News reporter Cindy Heiberg introduces you to one local man who has made thousands of life-saving pet connections through the power of social media. Go. You'd be hard-pressed to find a dog lover quite as dedicated as Mark Epperly. He's the face behind a statewide effort to reunite lost dogs with their human companions. I've been retired for like five years, and this is kind of, you know, just a passion. I don't make anything. Well, the idea started when Mark Epperly was trying to help one of his friends find her lost dog. Now the North Carolina Lost and Found Dogs Facebook group has helped reunite around 2,000 of these furry friends with their owners. It's really just for the dogs. A voice for the voiceless, I guess. Of those 2,000 rescues, one is extra special to him. The funny thing is, about three months later, I lost my dog. He was out, and uh, so I, I leveraged the site, and um, I found him through the site. Just last week, the group hit a major milestone, 10,000 members. That's a milestone we never thought we would ever get to. 10,000 people helping helpless dogs find their way home. I don't know, the first like month we had like 80 members or something like that and I was like this might take off you know it's the community and the dogs that keep Mark working long after his retirement they're so unconditional in their love and you know you can have the worst day in the world and come home and your dog is you know right there and tail wagging tongue hanging out Sydney Heiberger Queen City News <laughs> oh, they love that pool, don't they? Well, the group originally started just in Charlotte, but Mark quickly realized that when dogs get lost, there is no telling where they may end up.